Hey everyone, Sean Smith here with Dedicated Commercial Recovery in Roseland, Minnesota. I'm the founder and CEO doing our vlog today on balancing work, family, and you. And I think sometimes we talk about balancing, you know, family life and work life and that work life balance, but I think it's a little bit more intricate than that. I have four things that I want to cover with you, but first I'll talk about this. What is the situation as I call it? And I think the situation is this, is that anytime we try to balance work and family, what ends up happening is one seems to suffer. And then we just completely forget about really investing in things for ourselves, whether that be your faith, exercise, hobbies, whatever it is. So I think it's kind of balancing the three. And the situation is that you invest in one, others suffer. And there's just always this feeling of just like you're not doing enough in certain areas of your life and that just eats away your fulfillment and your joy. And I, I kind of have four tips that I wanted to cover that really helped me out during COVID. So I'm gonna hop right into it. The first thing is this, is one, you have to recognize that you have the same 24 hours as everybody else and a limited amount of energy within those days. And I think sometimes we just don't recognize that. We don't acknowledge the fact that Look, you just can't do everything everywhere at 100%. And that kind of leads me to my second uh, point, which is you have to be okay with living in this tension uh, between doing everything in one area and then other areas not getting 100%. And so trying to balance that out and just realizing you can't be at 100% in all those different areas and being okay with that and still not letting it take away from your joy and the peace in your life because you could be putting more into your exercise, you could be putting more into uh, your faith or your business or your job, whatever that is. And I think in that living in that tension, it's realizing that sometimes in life, there's going to be seasons where you are going to have to focus more on your family, or you really are going to have to focus on yourself, or you really are going to have to focus on your career or your business, and that's okay. But it's also recognizing when that season should, season should be over and just acknowledging, okay, I need to make some shifts. I need to make some changes. But when you're in that season of heavy family or work or you focus, being okay with that. Like sometimes that's what you're gonna to need to do, but it's just keeping evaluating that and making sure that it's staying healthy. And that leads me to my third topic, which is really paying attention to the things in your life that are unhealthy, that are negatively affecting those different things and eliminating them. If you have toxic friends, if you have toxic family, if you have toxic work habits or work, work uh, environment, whatever that is, Remove that stuff. Life is too short to keep allowing that negative toxicity in your life that's draining your energy, sucking up your time, and that's just going to be a huge waste towards feeling good about balancing those things. And finally, I'd say this is do things that give you more energy. For me, it's taking some white space time. I love to try on the weekends to fit in a nap if I can. Uh, praying in the morning helps focus my day and just think about what I want to do for the day, how I want to do it, and just being in that right frame of mind and spirit. I like to exercise in the morning. That gets the endorphins going, gives me energy throughout the whole day, and I find that I'm more effective, more efficient, and I feel more accomplished in what I've done for the day because of the way I started out my day. And I find that on the days I don't do that, I, I very much feel like uh, I'm missing something or I, I, it's taking me longer to do things. So now those are just four things that I would say to recognize, to work on, to help balance those things. They've been very effective for me through COVID and just focusing on the right things and, and being okay when things not being at exactly 100% in all those different areas. So I hope this is helpful to you. Thank you as always for tuning in. We'd love it if you'd hit that like button, subscribe, comment. Uh, we just really appreciate that. And as always, thank you for tuning in and God bless.